weekly announcements. I'm Reed Campbell. And I'm Levi Vasquez. Key Club's annual Pennies for Pasta campaign will kick off December 19th through the 30th. Students can donate spare change during the seventh hour to help fund medically based research against diseases. The seventh hour that raises the most money wins a pasta party. Hey seniors, those fund recognition ads at the back of the yearbook are to be purchased and photos uploaded by Friday, January 23rd. The deadlines are very strict, so if you're hoping to see your three-year-old self in your yearbook, remind your parents or grandparents about this upcoming deadline. Questions can be directed to Ms. Crane, which she is located in B116. Every Friday, beginning on January 16th and ending on February 20th, one person's name will be drawn for a large free pizza for lunch that Friday. To enter the drawing, students may put their name in the library drawing box every time they come in to check out books. Students are limited to one name per visit. We will announce the winner each week, and that lucky student may pick up their large pizza from the library on Friday after 11 a.m. I would love to win a large pizza. Oh, I would too. And now for this week in sports, here's Taryn Pullen. Taryn? Thanks, Reed. If you see senior Kate Stauffer in the halls this week, make sure you give her a fist bump. This past week, she received the Iron Woman Award for competing in and winning all the events in the Carthage Invitational. Way to go, Kate. The girls' basketball team won at home this past Monday for their first conference win over Rolla with a final score of 52-27. The, the record currently stands at 5-6. The boys competed last week in the 2015 Comiskey Classic. This annual basketball tournament is held to honor former head drop-in basketball coach Russ Kaminsky. The Eagles finished fourth in the eight-team tournament. Neil Show finished fifth, and Webb City placed eighth. Francis Howell out of St. Charles, Missouri, defeated Jefferson City 61-48 to to win the three-day event. And finally, if you're looking to watch some JHS Eagles basketball yourself, come see the Eagles play this Friday, January 16th. Join myself and Chris Martucci as we will be calling the action live from Kaminsky Gym. This has been your week in sports. I'm Taryn Pullum. Now back to Reed and Levi. Thanks, Taryn. If you're at least 16 years old and looking for a job, plan to visit the Job and Job Fest on Tuesday, January 27th. There will be over 100 businesses looking for employees, and you could be the one that they're looking for. Job Fest is held at the Job and Convention Center and will be open until 6 p.m. If you need help with a resume, see Mrs. McGowan in E105. Football off-season workouts will start on Monday, February 9th at 7.15 to 8 a.m. Off-season workouts will be every Monday and Wednesday. We will meet in the gym number three, unless notified. Senior guys, sign-ups for JH, Mr. JHS can be made in C-103. You must sign up by February 2nd. Senior sign-offs for the back of the yearbook are due Monday, January 19th. Sign-offs need to be 50 words or less and must be school appropriate. The yearbook staff needs help with the senior section of the yearbook. If you have pictures you would like to have showcased, please send them to Kylie Jones at JoplinSchools.org with a caption explaining the picture. Pictures should be followed by these themes. Memory Monday, Transformation Tuesday, Wayback Wednesday, Throwback Thursday, and Flashback Friday. These have been your weekly announcements. Have a great week.